It's been over two years since devastating floods moved through our region, leaving hundreds homeless and towns destroyed. And one of the hardest hit areas back in 2016 was Nicholas County in the town of Richwood. 13 News' is Austin Martin has more. Dangerous flooding all around our region. The town of Richwood is suffering a significant damage. June 23rd, 2016, a day eastern West Virginia won't soon forget. Days of rain drenched the Mountain State. Rivers rose dangerously quick, rushing towards many unsuspecting river communities like this one. We do have a confirmation that in uh, parts of Nicholas County, Richwood, the community is now going through some evacuation. This is video from that day in downtown Richwood, a timber and coal town built along the Cherry River in Nicholas County. A wall of water, a sea of mud and debris wreaked havoc on the town, flooding businesses, homes and just about everything in its path. But that was Richwood then. This is Richwood now. Those same streets are back open, cleaned up, and business is good again. Even a few new places in town are welcoming customers. The Whistle Punk restaurant is one of the newest hot spots right here. Lance Serafo and his wife just started working on the eatery over a year ago, and now they say they do good to keep up with demand. Um, we finished uh, end of May, and we ended up opening June 12th. You guys are staying pretty busy? Yes, we're staying very busy. Awesome. We've been busy since we opened. He also says others taking up shop in town are seeing the same trend. Besides the pride this town puts in its business, Nothing can compare to the pride and joy of this little place. It's Richwood High School. Also damaged in the flood and a topic of quite the debate, the temporary set of pods or mobile classrooms located about 12 miles outside of town in Craigsville still holds a special place in the hearts of everyone here. Everywhere you look, you'll see orange and black. On a Friday night, this place is buzzing. Through the tough times and the best times, folks here will tell you the same. It's home. It's, uh, it's the town that won't die. You know, it's, uh, people have said it's dying for years, and we're still here. We're still here, and we're, we're fighting. For where in West Virginia, I'm Austin Martin, 13 News, working for you.